It's currently a Tuesday night. It's dark and stormy outside. And while everyone's at home watching Netflix and chilling, I'm gonna be out hunting some used PC parts hunts. And it's actually pretty surprising because right now I've went on Facebook Marketplace and a Gumtree, good old Gumtree, and I found a heap of parts on Facebook Marketplace so far. Actually, we found two R9 280s three gigabytes we got them for 80 aussie dollars each we're gonna go pick them up right now we've also found an x370 motherboard put down a hundred aussie dollars and that one was pretty funny because they haggled back and forth like they're like 120 i'm like no max i'm gonna pay for this 100 bucks 110 i'm like got my hundred dollars here then they're like yep hundred dollars okay i'm like okay cool come pick it up right now there is also a 1050 ti which we've put in an offer of a hundred aussie dollars they've accepted we're gonna go pick that up really soon as well then in terms of all these other parts, I'll just put some of the listings up on the screen that we're throwing down offers on. We got $50 for 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. That's Aussie by the way too, which would be like 40 USD. But with that aside, let's go jump in the tech. Yes, mobile, and put them used price performance parts capes on and get some used PC parts on for February, 2021. Are you looking for a motherboard, looking for a motherboard, looking for a motherboard? If you are looking for a motherboard, then the X570 Phantom Gaming Velocitor from ASRock is one of the best. Coming with Wi-Fi 6, 2.5G LAN, high quality onboard audio solution, and a 14 phase power design. This will power the latest Ryzen 950 950X, and it has a great aesthetic, and it won't set you back too much. Links in the description below to find out more. Blah, 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 blah. So we now just picked up three different graphics cards, which is pretty cool because it does mean what I was saying back last month is kind of coming true. Like the four gigabyte and under VRAM cards are the ones to get. Miners aren't snapping these up and they're coming in at really good prices. So I picked up an R9 280 three gigabyte for 80 Aussie, like 60 USD around there. That's pretty good value, especially price performance. Then we got a 1050 Ti for 100 Aussie dollars. And now we just picked up a GTX 670. And this is really weird. The weirdest thing about it was that it was meant to be an R9 280. But when I went to pick up the card, I was handing the guy over the $80 and I was checking the card and it said the serial for 670. And I pulled him up on it and I said, dude, this is a GTX 670, not an R9 280. And like, honestly, nowadays an R9 280 would be way more desirable than the 670 just because of the three gigabytes versus the two gigabyte VRAM buffer in that sense. And that, that extra one gigabyte will come in handy, especially at 1080p. So he was like, yeah, it is a 670, you're right. And he looked at it and he was apparently sold it as a 280 and put it in his girlfriend's computer and just, she never noticed because she was just playing games. So I guess that's the big thing, right? If, if the card does the job, then who really cares? But we, he ended up uh, selling me that to, for 50 Aussie dollars instead of 80. So I was like, yep, that's cool. I'll put, pick that up anyway. That's still solid price performance. And honestly, the card looks like it's brand new. Like it looks like no one's really used this graphics card. But, but the funniest thing is right now where we are, there's actually a power blackout in this whole area. So it's like really dark. And the people were waiting out the front when I, when I went there, I was like, what's going on here? And they're like, oh, it's a power blackout. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Cause like everyone's lights are out around here and the street lights are all out. But anyway, from here on in, there's even more good news. And that is we've got one more GPU to pick up and it's only 10 minutes around the corner. And that's for 60 Aussie dollars for an R9 270. So man, what like, yeah, we're getting lucky already. This is Tuesday nights. I'm gonna make that my officially the new parts hunt of the month day. Cause this is, this is good. And now we're at our final destination and this is the Pizza Hut. And this is where we filmed the gas station video actually. This is a pretty, pretty funny location. If you guys haven't seen that one, that's where we did uh, 
did the video where you shouldn't be buying PC parts at the gas station. That's just my opinion though. But what we got here was the last deal. This was the motherboard, the Gaming K7, the X370 motherboard. Now the reason I got this board, especially you're probably thinking, oh, my $100 is probably too much for an X370 board. But this is just one of those boards where they had those LED lights on the RAM slots. And I really liked that look. Like when Oris came out with his design, I don't know, some people didn't like it. I really was digging it like low key, man. I was loving them LEDs around the RAM slot. So I want to kind of do a build like that. Uh, you know, like a bling bling build. So for 100 Aussie, can't complain, especially since it does support Ryzen 3000. So hoping to pick up a cheap Ryzen 3000 GPU. And by the way, I'm also waiting, if you're wondering why I'm in the passenger seat, I'm waiting for two large pizzas and it's two for one Tuesday. So you get a deal, right? You get two pizzas for the price of one. I mean, what's there not to love? That's $15 Aussie. So that's like you know, $12 US for two large pizzas, man. That's a deal right there. Always getting them deals down under. And this was the GPU that we picked up after the other one. And this was this time it was my bad. I actually booked up an R9270 for $60, but the guy never got back to me. And I didn't realize I also booked up and I just put out a heap of messages. So when I do the parts hunt, I put out so many different feelers. And we got here a GTX 960 for 80 Aussie dollars. So we actually, when it, cause what I did when, on the message was I just put out the offers and I just say, if you're interested, just text me the address. So he texts me the address <laughs> if, if they accept the offer. And then I'm, I was like, oh, he's like, oh, it's for the GPU. So I thought it was the R9 270 cause the guy was messaging me back there. But this guy just messaged me directly to my phone with the GTX 960. So we ended up getting that. And you guys are probably wondering with the upbeat tune in my voice, probably wondering why are you so happy? And it's actually a couple of reasons. Uh, one, we got a heap of good deals in this crazy crypto environment, especially on graphics cards. The second is the nighttime hustle, man, on a random weeknight. It, I'm going to be going down this route so much more because we got uh, five different pickups in under three hours. It's insane how cheap and how good it is to pick up parts on weeknights instead of weekends. So I'm going to be doing this more often. People message you back quicker. You just get everything done much more efficient. There's no traffic. It was just such a breeze. And another thing is too, I love driving at night, listening to beats while I'm just picking these deals up. So let's go cop them pizzas though and get back to the Tech Yes studio and see what we're gonna get in day two. And now we're back at the Tech Yes studio, taking a quick look of what we got here. And we got 100, 100, 80, 80, and 50. So that leaves us with a tally of 310 Aussie dollars so far. But maybe when I do these parts hunts, I'm gonna start them off at nighttime now from here on in and uh, try and pick up deals like this. And then the next day go see Les or something like that. Because as I said before, just tonight was just an absolute amazing night especially i mean you guys are probably thinking like some of you guys are probably think well some of these gpus are potatoes brian but i mean like for me it's a lot of fun like i can put together some really good price performance uh pcs with these gpus especially at these prices given the crypto environment right now and speaking of that crypto environment i mean my fingers are crossed for a crash and it's it's possibly looking like that prayer is starting to be answered so with that prayer starting to be answered we could see prices hopefully returning back to normal and things getting back to normal but on that note you guys have been requesting that i bring the bogan back the good old bargain mate so tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to make that call we're going to jump on good old gamtree we're going to try and find a deal and bring back that request for you guys and of course we're just going to look for some new parts as soon as we wake up because this tally so far is actually a, it's been it's been good it's a breath of fresh air I didn't think I'd pick up four GPUs in one night at good prices. Dane speaking. Oh, hey, Dane. How you going, mate? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Um, I see you've got an ad up here on Gamtree for uh, some DDR4 memory. Yep. Yeah, you got two eight by gigabyte stick kits or something? Yeah, so there's the one that's uh, 2400 megahertz and the other one's 2666 megahertz. Okay, uh, if I was to pick up the both of those kits, uh, 
what would be a price you could uh, do us? Well, I've got one fellow that's just um, offered me this morning 110 for that. Okay. Um, for both of them. So if you match it, or and it's just dependent on who, who gets there first because I've already been stuffed around a little bit with these ones. So I'm not holding it's just whoever gets there all right mate well i'll be up there and i'll come and get 110 cash in your hand in a couple of hours if that's all right yeah look i'm not um i'm not finished work until um let's see what am i at to do you reckon you could get um like how far away from you sorry how far away just after two yeah i could probably do that for you mate that wouldn't be a problem just uh, right. just text us the address to this number and uh, 2 p.m. sounds about right. All right, that sounds good, man. Okay, cool, mate. All right, like, it might be a bit of, bit of a time before I text you just because of, just because of work. <laughs> yeah, no I'm worries. Already getting stairs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. No worries. All right, too easy. I'll um, I'll let you know. All right, Dane. Thanks, mate. All right, see you, buddy. See you, mate. Bye. A bit rusty with that Bogan voice, but that was definitely a pretty good score. 110 for 32 gigabytes of DDR4. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you guys like the second version or the first version? I think the second version was more natural. Like People were like, okay, this guy's legit. He's the legit Bogan. I think if that's, yeah, 2021, we need a bit of legit Bogan. So we're bringing that back. In terms of other deals on Gumtree or Gametree, we didn't have much here. I mean, there was... Really, like, I'm looking through high and low, and there's a lot of just garbage up there. A lot of garbage. And so I did put in an offer for a couple of power supplies. There weren't any numbers I could call, but at the same time, I kind of... Uh, but anyway, we're going to go pick up some parts. Hopefully, we'll go see Les as well. So we'll quickly go see Les. We'll go pick up this RAM, and then we'll see what we've got this month on the table because I have looked at other things as well. There was like a Ryzen 5 2600, but they wanted 180 for it. I just said 160. Kind of keen to stop at 160 because of course it is um, two generations old now for being the six core 12 thread. And that's the thing, when you look at a 2600 and then you look at the price of say a 2678 V3, you always got to keep that in the back of your head. It's like, okay, well this one's this price, this is this price, I can just go with this and I'd be able to put together a better value for money rig with based on online prices. So, whew. So let's get through day two of this beautiful used PC parts on. And now we're back at the Tech Yes studio and the person didn't message us about the 32 gigabytes of RAM until I literally just got home now. But I'm gonna PayPal them the money, they're happy with that. They can post it over to us. So that Bogan call was at least all for something. So we ended up getting that deal, but we'll add that on, that was $110. We got seven PCs here. We ended up checking out Les, seeing what he had, seven PCs. We got a power supply here for a thousand watts we got that for 30 dollars as well let's check that and said it was working fine and then we got two gpus this one here he had one of these these have been popping up all over the place lately these r7 250x's so that's got one of those for 15 dollars then we got a 750 ti for 35 dollars i don't know if this is the one gig or the two gig model i believe they i don't know if they i think they did release a one gig model just memory has to serve me better sometimes but hopefully this is the two gig model if it is we got a little cool flipping graphics card on our hands which adds to the fact that we got six gpus this month so this is the thing i'm going to be talking about right now is like even though there's this whole crypto boom i'm starting to see that deals are coming up and it's just the deals that the crypto miners don't want and you can still get some really enjoyable frames i mean an r9 280 for example is going to be able to play Fortnite and Dota 2 and all that stuff, absolutely fine. And probably even play the latest Call of Duty, uh, Cold War, for instance, fine as well. So really loving what the budget markets bring into the table where it's not overpriced. And I think that's the way we're gonna be going here 
until all this crypto stuff just goes belly up. Well, I hope it goes belly up, but until that time, we're not really gonna be focusing too much on new parts because it's just a messed up market there. And of course, you've got that demand from gamers who want the latest and greatest stuff thrown on with the crypto miners as opposed to this stuff. There's really only that market that just wants to play games. And we're seeing the demand there, and at least the pricing is absolutely awesome. So we've got here a three, a uh, fourth Gen i5 systems. He did them for two ten in total, where one of them had RAM, one of them had uh, didn't boot okay and stuff like that. But we'll be able to fix them up, patch them all up, and get them working. These are similar. We got another three i5 systems with the Z200 series, and then we had a Z400 series, which I immediately jumped at for 150 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the E5 1620 Xeon. So that's four cores, eight, but I know it's at least four cores, eight threads. So similar to an i7 back in that era, but even then we can then put a uh, six core, 12 threaded Xeon in that and turbocharge that thing. Not to mention they do put pretty beefed up power supplies in the Z400 series. So all that in total, we hit up Les for 890 for seven monitors, where the seven monitors was one I think I've negotiated 190 for 224 inches, two, 322 inches and 219 inches. And then we had these three graphics cards, uh, four graphics cards here we picked up last night for 310. Um, that leaves us to like 1200. And then we got the RAM for 110. So that leaves us with 1310 Aussie dollars for this month's score. And we got a heap of different PC parts this month. It's been absolutely amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this parts hunt so far. And what's going on with the market is, in terms of flipping, it's, I'd say the market is at sort of like a slow season where it's not really moving that fast. But at the same time, it's starting to pick up a little bit where January, I would easily say January was the worst month. I didn't have really any sales coming through. And then starting to pick up, February is definitely starting to pick up. And I think uh, continuing on, it will get a little bit better. Because again, people are gonna need PCs wherever they are in the world. And um, it depends where you are ultimately too with your local markets. But things have been picking up for me personally, so that's a good thing. And uh, keep going, you just keep going. You just keep rolling. Keep rolling with the punches. You keep going forward, brothers. And that's what it's all about at Tech yes City. And you, of course, you keep picking up those deals. And I mean, always look at the price performance too. Don't forget about that. But in the meantime, do let us know in the comments section below, what was your favorite deal of today and February 2021's Use PC Parts Hunt of the Month, as I love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. But one thing I'm gonna say before I get on out here, nighttime hunting is so much better. Nighttime hunting is so much better than anything else. Like there's the traffic, there was no traffic. Today, when we're coming back from Les's place, massive traffic, literally added over an hour on top of our times here just traveling today. So if anything, expect to see a little bit more of today's style of PC parts hunting in the future, where I'm gonna be out doing more night style, nightlife with that synth wave music going and getting those beats going and doing a bit of a nighttime hustle. And hopefully you guys have really enjoyed the ride. I'm sort of getting a little bit happy again because this whole you scene is starting to get popping once again, starting to pop off, AKA pop a lop. And just like this question of the day here, which comes from Amir, Bahal Lagaran 365, and they say, thanks for the video, just a question. Does studio drivers, they're talking about the video drivers, in 2021 with RTX 3000 series and DLSS 2.0 technology give better performance, etc., when compared to current GeForce or not? I don't see any video talked about those studio drivers anymore after their release one to two years ago. So the studio drivers, when they first came out, they were mainly about getting those Adobe performances and being more about stability. Nowadays for me, it's very simple if I'm playing games and predominantly games on my NVIDIA card, I'll be using the GeForce drivers. And then if I'm doing work on the NVIDIA card, for instance, using Adobe Premiere Pro a lot, I'll be using the studio drivers. Usually the GeForce drivers come out before the studio drivers because they're just focused on getting the game optimizations out as soon as possible. And the studio drivers are more about stability in programs like Adobe, at least that's what I um, have been told and that's what I can see when I download either of the driver sets. So hopefully that answers that question. And with that aside, if you guys have stayed this far and you're enjoying that Tech yes content, be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll catch you on the next one very soon. Peace out for now, bye.